Hello, my name is Alexander Coelho, and today we have the great privilege of sitting with the dynamic duo behind Whistle and Flute. Did you guys always know that you would end up in fashion? For me, yes. Yeah. I think as, as, a, as a little girl, I've always wanted, I was always into clothes, and uh, being an artist's daughter, I was quite limited to what, and I wasn't able to have like, you know, the on the outfit or the, right. or the designer clothes, so I had to be very um, inventive with what I put together. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you know, I was that sort of 80s sort of goth, you know, new wave kid, so... And did you always know that fashion was important to you, or that something that... For would... me, it wasn't necessarily fashion, it was just a creative industry. Mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, I'm not a creative person, but I just knew I wanted to work in a creative field, so... And interestingly enough, you both worked for Cynthia Steffi, and that's where you met, is mm -hmm. that correct? Yeah, uh, that's right. So, what encouraged you guys to take that leap of faith and step out and sort of form your own mind? Well, Socially, I mean, we went out quite often, and, and uh, I was the head designer there, and Jaylen was the um, director of merchandising there. Okay. So we would always be communicating, Words working together, right. yeah. so we had that really sort of nice, balanced relationship. And, uh, you know, it's every girl's dream, well, every fashion designer's dream to go out on your own. And right. So, you know, Jaylen and I were talking about, you know, we have the same aesthetic, and we said, why not branch out and do something where we already have the skill of, of no different skills, it's a, it's a, and it's the perfect marriage. marriage. Right, right. I see that you have a great appreciation for textiles. Oh. You have, you guys just have amazing, an amazing eye for fabric. Now you said your father is an artist. Yeah. Um, so talk to us about that, how that sort of informs your process and your design uh, sensibility. He's, he's, a, he's a sort of a contemporary modern sculptor, and he's influenced by nature. So everything, there's movement, there's a lot of um, emotion in his work. So growing up, I was always exposed to that. And, and to and to all of his artist friends, so I would say that was a big influence in terms of how I saw uh, how how I created in terms of like creating movement and and you know, doing sweeping lines and details. So um, he was a big influence on me. Um, talk to us about the whistle and flute woman. Who is she? I mean, she obviously has edge and great style, but uh, she's definitely a confident, sort of intelligent, you know, woman. And she's smart shopper. She's a smart shopper. She's like a downtown girl, um, and she's not afraid to sort of push the envelope. You know, she'll get her great little pieces, but then she'll have that one sort of big fashion piece that'll right. make a statement. And that's sort of the, what we need right now with the recession, the economy you know, yes, the, 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 the way it is. Yeah. And you guys really do offer really great look, a lot of look, for a really great price point. Yeah. So um, that's really encouraging for that smart shopper. Will you just walk us through some of your key looks and sure. what you're um, really excited about? You know, you know, we're known for our sort of details because we just you know, so very modern, simple lines. That details are really important. important right. So, um, for example, uh, for this great sort of long tunicky sweater, um, the, te the texture is important, the little rib detailing inserts. And, and the combination of sort of the ink and the black. black. Yeah, it's such a. So it's just a great little piece you can wear as a dress, you can wear as a layering piece over sort of skinny jeans or, or, or leather pants. Lots of options, right? Yes, and I love, you know, this, this is where the little sort of softer feminine side of me comes out, where I have a lot of drape uh, with a little ruched front. But it still doesn't feel girly or pretentious. No, it's not. It feels it's sort very of sweet, young and modern, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's great you know, with the combination of with gauze. This tech foil. Yeah, we love that. So it's kind of sexy. It's kind of like you dress it up and dress it down. Yeah, there's a great versatility to it. Yeah, I think the the girl today knows. I mean, I think she's has access to the, the internet, so she really knows that she can play these proportions with pants and and, right. and um, tights and which. Can and I think that's what uh, um, shoppers are looking for. They want things that can they can do a lot of things with. Absolutely. That's not just like oh, I, I can only wear this out to cocktails. Yeah, but, so, yeah. so, so, so I mean, for I think for the young young person, it's more of an aspiration piece for them, and then uh, but for a sort of everyday sort of girl, it, it, it would be a, it's a great piece of piece, right? Yeah. A go-to. A go-to. Yeah. Uh, and also, uh, we've done these sort of great sort of masculine. This is where men's wear sort of look. Yeah, in. we love this. Where we have the little zipper detail, with sort of broad shoulders, which is quite big for fall season. Right. Um, has sort of a military look. Yes. Yeah, so yes. So it's all about the little well, themes and details. That's really big, sort of important to you, to your aesthetic. There's a lot of menswear elements. Yes, we're very into the sort of 
bringing a little bit of tailoring into into our collection. And then here again, you see sort of this sort of safari coat. Yeah, again, um, with a turn back. So that's like a nude trench. Mm -hmm. It's got a great little zipper detail on the back. Oh, I love that. It's really good. Yeah. And then this is sort of a great little tweed bolero jacket. Oh yeah. With fur and collar. Something oh, that's like really great. It's yeah. just uh, such a great combination of elements. Great little. Here we go. Another tailoring thing with. A little zipper jacket, the sort of the, the doubles are. Oh, I love that. So this is like sort of feminine blouse. Again, the details are important with the cutaway. Yeah. Sleeve, you know, the, diff the two different fabrications. Is and again, I wish you guys could see this because it really is all about the textile combinations here. There's a twill, and then there's this like sort of. Still cap tie. It's it's just really great. Yeah. And this brings a little lightness to the collection. I do tend to favor dark colors. Okay. But you know, like the sort of dark dark green. But you know, we pop it up with, with the, the color, right. And also, we have this great little jumper and that jack art little detailing that you saw early in the, in the bolero. So great. So, so sharp. So like a halter, kind of, well, for those racy types, you can wear nothing beneath it. But and again, it's one of those pieces that you can do so much with. Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. it's got a great little pocket detail in the back. Yeah, I, it's really great. I, I wish you guys could see. It's all about the detailing. It's all about this, all this attention to craftsmanship. This is actually a fabric that Jim and I love. It's sort of waffle, spongy, sort of tweed. Yeah, but it just molds and it just does the most amazing. Even on the hanger, you can see it has a really great shape to yeah, it. Sort of know, it has a fit and flare. It's yeah. got a curved hem. It's a little bit longer in the back. No, again, sort of in, 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 inverted. Yeah, and yeah, again, it's not it's not a girly thing. It's just sort of you know modern and very very chic. And this is like sort of like a cool crop little version. Yeah, very cool. Again, yeah. it's all about the fabric. Yeah. The fabrics are just so amazing. It's this tactile experience. Yeah. I think that's a really great way of putting it—a tactile experience. And then we love this too. This is just fun jersey. It's kind of has a little astroturfy texture to it, oh, and yeah. mixed it with the jersey and. You know, it looks like sequins from far away, yeah, it but does. And it has a little glamour, yeah. a little sort of, again, it's a little, uh, something that's a little bit more on the feminine side, but it's not that girly. Yeah, girly. not saccharine. No, 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 it's not saccharine at all. This is actually a sweater that I designed. It's, it's actually very soft. It's got a great little sort of shag collar. Yeah, now, really I want to do something that had a fur quality to it, but wasn't actually fur. We love that. So, it feels like a big giant boa on top of this sort of cropped little sweet sweater. And then, and then underneath you have, you know, my a little another sweater that I designed, fine gauge, and again the detailing with the wrap. And again, this just speaks to that fluidity yeah. that we talked about. It's a little drape, yeah. it's a little softness, and then, and then you have this sort of skirt too that has the sort of the pointed yep. handkerchief hem. And again, text, you've got the shine, the tech foil, and then you've got the great little gauze. Detail I think this is just such a quintessential look for sort of your aesthetic. There's the, the layering of fabrics and textures and, and you know, like you said, um, a plate of matte and, and sheen. And I just think it's really sharp. All right, I think um, in this time, women really want clothing that feels special and the pieces that they invest in are pieces that are desirable and you certainly have lots of desirable pieces. Thank you so much, Yoon, for taking time to talk with us. Uh, for more information about Whistle and Flute, log on to modernglossy.com.